Well, they're called the Flames for good reason. The bats continue to be hot for LU coming into the doubleheader against the Bellarmine Knights. And coach, uh, what a game it was. Liberty just smoking the cover off the ball, and it was relentless. It, it was day in and day out. They continue to hit, get solid pitching. But this was senior day, and the seniors lit it up today for sure. Yeah, they sure did. Let's take a look back here at the action game one. And Liberty relying heavily on those seniors. Emily Sweat, she would have two doubles on the day along with four RBIs. That isn't just in game one. We'll, we'll tease that for a little bit later. There it is, Sweat again driving this one. A one hopper off the wall. That would drive in two more runs. Liberty looking strong. We continue with the bats. They were excellent, but nice job there by Emily Sweat. She would end the day with 31 RBI on the year. Liberty continuing just to hit the ball strong. Madison Vi, a triple, drove in another run. Liberty would eventually run rule it as we move on to game two. And there she is again, Emily Sweat, the long ball over the wall. And that would be a two-run shot for her. Flames would get a couple of little bloopers to drop in. That would draw another couple of runs scored. And the momentum and the bats would just keep on rolling. There's Autumn Bishop, another one that just didn't get clean wood on it, but would eventually fall in. And that would set the table for Amber Bishop Riley, who would just drive a bomb over the left field wall. She hit a thing a ton. There was no question when it went off the bat. A great day for her. That three-run shot was an exclamation point right on this game right there. Yeah, she would go on to have a great catch as well at second base in the uh, late stages of this game. Take a look at it. Naomi Jones, quality start from her. Seven strikeouts in a short game. And Liberty continues to roll. They'll be back at it tomorrow against Bellarmine. Game time, 1 p.m. We'll see you then.